originally it started with a group of, a, a really diverse group of people actually, um, about a third of whom were local band mutants and a third were kind of concerned liberals from around the community like probation officers, people from the Department of Social Welfare and there were some people from the city council involved at an early stage because they knew we were after this building. My position as a coordinator is uh, basically the management side of things. Um, I have to do all the horrible jobs, like the accounts, and I also um, do yellow bike records, distribution and promotions, and I do all the bookings and booking for rehearsals and recording. Rob does almost all the recording. We have Dave White helping us out with recording at the moment and um, I have to coordinate the work and planning of the work and uh, arranging of workshops and things like that. Um, and we have a large group of volunteers and we also have from the Justice Department, we receive quite a few community service workers who we have to um, create work for. Well, there's plenty of work for them to do, but we have to delegate the work to them. The facilities that we have uh, um, the main ones are the recording studio, um, the 8-track recording studio and the rehearsal room. In the rehearsal room we have basic equipment for bands to use if they don't have their own equipment. There's a drum kit, a bass amp and a guitar amp and a small vocal PA and the bands are expected to bring along drumsticks and their own leads. We do have a guitar and a bass guitar as well. Um, as you can imagine, they get used a lot and require a lot of maintenance, which is hard to keep up with. Um, particularly drum kits don't handle things like that very well. And we run workshops in recording things like um, how to write up a press kit and promote yourself, um, how to hold a gig. And we also run concerts, um, which are aimed largely at underage people. Um, so we have an alcohol band here, we don't have any license at, at all. Um, and most bands in this town, the younger bands that come and establish themselves here end up doing their first performances at the stomach. I've been employed as a sound engineer for the last year, um, since last September. What are you doing here? Um, mainly what I do is just just record the bands, like, you know, I'll just come in and sort of set everything up and record it and mix it down and, um, yeah, help out with rehearsals and um, banking and all sorts of little odd jobs and stuff. Aside from just sort of technically reproducing the, the sounds and the music and getting getting the song together and sounding good, um, sort of a very important thing, especially with the younger, more developing bands that come in, um, it's, you know, most, most people it's sort of the first time they've been in a studio or something and um, yeah, it's, it's really important to encourage them and sort of give them advice about what they're doing and um, you know, how you think they can improve it or anything. Um, Yellow Bike Records was established by Dave White um, as a result of being unable to get his own band, which was The Clear at that time signed onto another label. Okay, Yellow Bike Records. Originally I started, I was in London and I had a CD of my band and um, I had some possible deals with distributors in Europe and they only deal with a record company. They don't deal directly with bands. It's sort of against their, I don't know, the way they work. <laughs> so I needed a name and so the record company became a name at that stage. And then when I came back, and we started to record other bands from here. We just carried on with the name because it was something which already had some kind of recognition overseas. So that's what happened. Yellow Bite was set up and first release was the clear live stomach. And um, we have something like 13 releases now. Um, that's over about two or three years. And the main bands on that are uh, Lung and Rake, for its head the Ashvins, Meat Market and Blunt.
advantage for me recording practicing at stomach is that it's cheap and it's a good facility, it's a good community based um, place where you can come here, there's regular gigs here, um, gives bands opportunities to start off, uh, young bands get to practice here cheaply, it's gear supplied, um, get to get the opportunity to play a gig. Um, underage venue, we look, uh, you know, it's good. Yeah, the releases we've had out on Yellow Bike is Blunt, is uh, the just released Valve 7 inch with three other bands on that, so that's Freud Head and the Ashvins and Meat Market. So. I started coming to the stomach when I was 15, when it first opened. I came and did some drum classes here at first, and then me and my friend would just come in every week for three hours or so and just kind of pissed around on all the instruments because we didn't have anything of our own. And, but, yeah, it was just a really cool thing to be able to do. Yeah. The people involved in the stomach are very, very competent people and um, they put a lot of energy into developing their projects. Um, but the projects that they do, of course, are important and that's really the reason why they get funding. <laughs> They have largely come to the Community Arts Council for funding towards developing musical instruments that are resources for the centre. And that has also included musical instruments that they can use in workshops um, for people with disabilities as well. So th they've done a lot of different sort of community work from the stomach. It's just a very encouraging, vibrant place for, for young musicians. Generally, mm. and, and the whole, encourages yeah, the yeah. whole sort of culture that goes with it. One of the benefits of our partnership with the council is that we can keep our prices low, and um, that makes it accessible to people with no money. Um, and and also we follow the city council's philosophy of community development in recreation which is to empower and enable people to achieve their goals by providing them with resources. The, the City Council owns the, owns the building and it, it leases that to, to Creative Sounds at a, at a, at a low cost. Um, the Council pays the salary of, of, of the coordinator, Claire Powell, and also at the moment, um, Rob Williams. Um, we pick up all the exterior and interior maintenance of the, of the building. Um, um, coming up now we have a song from Lung. It's off their three heads on a plate disc. It's called Paralysis. Ray and Essie's had an involvement with um, the stomach ever since it first began. Um, and the initial uh, initiative, I suppose, was begun by Dave White and other people. The radio station was involved right from the word go. The interaction that we have with the stomach is a, is a twofold thing in that you know we play music from bands that comes from the stomach but also at the same time there's a I suppose a larger section of our audience is generated through the stomach especially in the local music content because I know that we wouldn't get the amount of bands that we do if the stomach didn't have been, you know, if they didn't exist. <laughs> friendly and it's a good atmosphere, um, especially at the gigs here, it's always really friendly and there's no aggro and it's just nice, it's like second home. Mm -hmm. 